Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about cookware, which should be used and why. So at some point in our lives, it comes time to change the old cookware that we should have thrown away long, long time ago. We may have become accustomed to some old pot or crusty old spatula, but the materials that compose some of these most used cooking utensils may have some health consequences. So let's look at the materials, uh, uh, which materials are harmful for cooking and their consequences and some alternatives that we can use instead. So the first one is Teflon. Teflon is also known as polytetrafluoroethylene, which was produced by accident in 1938 by Dr. Roy J. Plunkett. It was widely accepted for use since the early 1950s for coating cookware due to its non-stick and very slippery properties. It's considered the most slippery uh, substance in the world. It was popular in food packaging as well as uh, stain-resistant fabrics and carpets um, and water-repellent clothing and even also was put into cosmetics. But since 2013, studies show that Teflon can be very unhealthy. All Teflon pans that are sold uh, before 2013 have perfluorooctanoic acid, which is uh, uh, for short PFOA, which is a known carcinogen and a liver toxin and also a developmental toxin and an immune system toxin and it also alters thyroid hormone levels. So since 2013, this chemical has been removed from Teflon in the US and in Europe. But if you live outside this area, most likely your Teflon pans will have this compound in them. So you wanna check the packaging for a label that says PFOA free. Now another reason to not use Teflon is due to the fact that it, it's easily scratched. And when it becomes scratched, tiny particles of short chain perfluoroalkyls in Teflon can be released into the food and consumed inadvertently, having potential health risks, including cancer, immune issues, and high cholesterol. Now, polytetrafluoroethylene uh, is, is a dangerous toxic chemical and it is released from Teflon when Teflon is heated above 572 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is something that can be considered and the American Cancer Association warns against the use of Teflon cookware exactly for these reasons. Now, furthermore, a study released this year in uh, PLOS Medicine uh, magazine suggests that perfluoroalkyl substances from Teflon contribute to weight gain and can lead to obesity. So what about aluminum cookware? Well, there is enough evidence to make us wary of the effects of consuming aluminum. Some scientific uh, studies link this metal to Alzheimer's disease because it is considered a neurotoxin. The bad news is that this metal is found in many places and all around us and although we may be unable to control our exposure in all cases we can at least make better choices when it comes to our cookware so an aluminum foil um, also used for cooking is also best avoided and as a side note deodorants and other personal hygiene products um, are places where we may be exposed to aluminum so we must be wary of this and try to avoid these types of products as well and most restaurants as well use aluminum cookware because it is the cheapest cookware that can be found. So be wary of that. Eat less in restaurants and more at home. But what about co copper cookware? So although copper has excellent reputation for having superior qualities for cooking, we, we have to be careful that the food we are cooking does not directly come in contact with the copper. We can instead choose copper cookware that has another safe material such as porcelain that lines the pots and pans themselves. And this way, the food is safe from becoming contaminated with copper. Um, too much copper is toxic and if scratched or broken, then this copper cookware, the copper will leach out into the food and this becomes very toxic, especially if the food is acidic. So what cookware is best used? Well, what are the safe alternatives that are left? One of the classics is stainless steel. We also have porcelain and uh, cast iron, glass and stoneware. So let's talk about those. The benefits of these alternatives are that they do not release fumes or particles that are harmful to our health. And in many cases, they are easier to clean as in the case of stoneware, cookware, um, glass cookware and porcelain.
Um, now, cooking with cast iron gives food a charred effect, which is great for making grilled vegetables, potatoes, or anything that you want to have a crispy, smoky flavor, as this type of co cookware gets very, very hot. But the iron does leach into the food, which uh, can be useful for females during the childbearing years, but is less fav favorable for men due to the possible buildup of iron in the body, leading to free radical damage. Now, enameled uh, cast iron cookware doesn't leak iron, but it's more difficult to find in the marketplace. So if you do find it, then that's okay to use, also for men. <laughs> now, 100% stoneware is becoming more popular in recent, in recent years. This type of cookware retains a lot of heat. It's non-toxic, non-stick, and very durable. And one benefit is that with time, it becomes so well seasoned that it actually adds flavor to the meals without any extra uh, effort. Now, glassware is great if you're not prone to dropping or breaking things. Uh, this could be an option for you. Now, this material does not transfer, doesn't transfer or absorb odors or flavors. It's great glass cookware. And my personal favorite is stainless steel because it doesn't alter the flavor of food. It isn't toxic or too difficult to clean and it never breaks. Um, the only problem is that during the first few times it's used, food may stick to it if it is not greased with a little bit of oil or fat. But after two to three uses, this will no longer be a problem. So there you have it. Those are the best uh, cookware um, that we can use. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and you may subscribe to my channel. And if you want more information on health and nutrition, please visit my website at www.thegorillodiet.com. Thank you very much for joining.